What's up guys? Paul here with Polywog's Beard Company coming at you with another video. This one's going to be about my product line. What I offer, all the beard products that I currently offer, the ingredients of those products. Let's get right into it. For me guys, I don't really announce this on any of my platforms right now. Well, let me back up. Just to start off with, <clears throat> I don't have a web page yet. Uh, I do all my orders made to order um, from home. I'm just a one-man army at doing this, right? Right now, I'm using Etsy as my uh, selling page. I also use a Facebook page. I have an Instagram account, and now obviously my YouTube channel. And a lot of that is word of mouth. That's the only way I, I get my product out there. I don't have a website, like I said. I don't offer this first product on anything yet. I do a beard wash, okay? Now this beard wash, you may have noticed in my last video that I did with me in the shower washing, it, it's more liquidy. Uh, it's not, it, because it's all natural, I don't have any chemicals in it to thicken it up and make it real like a normal shampoo. So there's no chemicals in it, it's all natural. At the end of the video, we'll talk about um, pricing on everything. I just wanna get through the products for right now and kind of give you guys an idea of what I actually have, the sizes, and then we'll discuss um, ingredients and we'll also discuss pricing. So that's the beard wash. Next up, what we have is I do a beard butter. I call it a beard butter. It's basically a conditioner for your beard. It's a leave-in conditioner. This has very little beeswax in it. Uh, the majority of the properties of this are gonna be butters. You're gonna have an African shea butter. You're gonna have cocoa butter. Uh, and then it has your carrier oils, grapeseed oil, uh, coconut oil, jojoba oil, jojoba, however you wanna pronounce it, I don't care. Uh, I always just say jojoba, sweet almond oil, and then it has vitamin E and tea tree oils. All my products basically have uh, the base of a grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, and tea tree oil. That's pretty much my base. Then some of the other things, obviously, if they're bombs or butters, have different products from there. Beeswax, whatnot. So my butters have very little beeswax. I don't want a lot of hold with this thing. This, for me, is more of a conditioner. I use this product at night. To me, it works fantastic. It actually adds moisture to your beard. It helps puff it up, I guess I, I want to say, but it adds volume. That's what I wanted to say. It actually gives your beard some volume, but this is available in a one ounce and a two ounce tin as well. The next item up is the Beard Balm. This actually has a lot more beeswax in it, and I don't use cocoa butter in these. The cocoa butter I only use in my um, beard butter, in my conditioner. This here is my balm. It's about a medium hold balm. I can make it stronger if somebody requests that. That's not an issue. Um, I, I kind of keep it lighter to medium to maybe suit the, the whole mass. But I do have, like I said, some people that I talk to personally that have requested a little heavier, stronger hold. And I have no problem doing that for them. And I've, because my products are made to order, I can do that. The reason I do made to order, guys, is like I said before, I don't, I'm not a huge company. I'm not one of these big multi-million dollar companies or, or whatnot. I do all this by myself from home. I don't want to make a huge batch of anything and just leave it sit, right? That's why it's made to order. I'll get your product out to you within a couple days um, once it's ordered and, and paid for it. You're, I'm looking at like a, basically a two-day turnaround max. Usually I can have it done the next day. That's not an issue. But I want my product to be fresh for everybody when you get it. So that way it's going to last longer for you. Um, because it's all natural ingredients, yes, it doesn't last forever. But they do last a really long time. So the, my beard balms, again, two ounce and one ounce tins and the various scents. And that's another thing I'll go over at the end of the video is all the different scents that I offer with pretty much all my products. Now I'm going to talk about my oil. My oils, right now I do them in a two ounce bottle <clears throat> and I do them in a half ounce bottle. I know that's going to be kind of funny for some people like... A lot of people just go out with a, a one ounce bottle and that's pretty much a standard that I see anyway. I like the two ounce bottle. If you're somebody that, that knows what scent you, you may have bought from me before or you know for sure you're going to like a, a minty smell or you're going to like a citrusy smell or whatever, you're going to want to buy a two ounce bottle. All right, These things are $10.99 and I'll talk more about that again, but the $10.99 for the two ounce bottle is what I sell. Now, typically what I do is my half ounce bottles. I do these half ounce bottles in packs of four so that you can try four different scents, right? So these four bottles are the same price as this two ounce bottle. You're gonna get 
for four cents as opposed to 10.99 for one cent of two ounces but they're all together it's all two ounces of of product i can sell the small half ounce bottles um sort of individually but it kind of just doesn't really make sense to to ship something that small so i am toying with the idea of buying one ounce bottles as well and making everything in two ounce one ounce and a half ounce for four four packs only and then obviously my one ounce bottle is going to be half the price of the two so what's that six bucks you know 550 six bucks anyway that's all my base products for right now i have the shampoo i have the butter and conditioner the balm is one and then uh all my my oils now let's get into fragrances Again, what I told you before, I have a base of pretty much everything. My scents are all essential oils. I have what I call a florange because I live in Florida. I wanted to kind of base everything. I like the old school look and you'll see on a lot of my packaging and I'm in the process of messing with this as well. I love this look for my, um, let's see if I can get that out of my word. So that's my logo. I love the old school brown paper bag look with my logo kind of an old school typewriter print i like to the feel of everything to be hand done i really like that look and that uh, that aesthetic of everything so that's what i'm kind of going for the only thing i do know that i need to fix um i have added my ingredients because i was called out in one of a, a reviewer's video um the product that i did send him was all natural. It's the same stuff I make now, but it did not have an ingredients label on the packaging that I sent him. Bad mistake. If anybody has any allergies, they need to know what's in your product so that if they have an uh, allergy to something, they're going to know, hey, I can't touch this. I can't use it, right? So I have added an ingredients label to every single thing that I ship out, whether it's the uh, oils, the bombs, the butters, the washes. There's always going to be a list on there from now on. Let's get into the scents like I was getting ready to talk about, I think, in the first place. So the Florange, uh, because I live in Florida, is obviously a citrus-based scent. I've had a lot of compliments on it from other people that use it as well. All right, so that's one. I carry a fresh, which is a, like a minty smell. My third one is I have one that I call Beach Vibes. Again, Florida theme, I'm going with the beach theme. I have, obviously, I do unscented in everything. I know a lot of guys that wear cologne that do not want to have the scent of any of my product clashing with their favorite colognes. I have no problems with that. So I sell unscented things as well for guys that want to be able to take care of their beards, but don't want the fragrance mixing with whatever cologne they use. I got you covered. We got unscented. It will not mix with what you're doing, but it will give you the coverage and the protection and the, and the, the healthy beard that you're looking for. I do a lavender scent as well. It's I call it relax. In my mind, again, that's another sort of Florida thing. Chill out, relax. It's uh, more of a nighttime thing maybe. And I've had a couple guys that use it that actually love this. And that's their favorite one out of everything. They, they would rather have the lavender uh, relax over anything. So I'm cool. That's good with me. I can do a coffee scent. I, I, that's another one that I don't really put it out there too much. But I can do a coffee scent. Me personally, I love coffee. So I have some of that for myself. But if anybody's interested, you let me know. I'll hook you up. Uh, one of my other favorite scents that I do, is I call it Backwoods. Now, this is kind of a, I won't necessarily say a tribute or whatever, but I'm from Pittsburgh originally. And when I was younger, we used to do a lot of camping, a lot of, you know, bonfires, this type of thing. I wanted to throw back to that. I love the smell of a campfire. I love the smell of the outdoors. So for me, I've created something that I call Backwoods that reminds me of that. It's got some smoky flavor to it, and I call everything flavor, and I apologize, it's scent, but I call it a flavor. It's got a smoky flavor to it, a little bit of pine smell to it. It's hard to describe, but you, you just got to you just gotta smell it to understand that it, it definitely reminds you of something outdoorsy, fire pity, um, like smoky. So maybe you'll think the same thing, and maybe you'll enjoy that if you're an outdoorsman. Getting down to finals and prices. Now, I know a four ounce bottle of beard wash is not gonna go very far. So right now I can get these no problem, but I'm looking to do an eight ounce bottle. So if I do the eight ounce bottle, I'm probably gonna sell those for around 10 to $11 um, for the eight ounce bottle of beard wash. Currently what I do for my, my two ounce tins of balm go for 
$14.99 and my one ounces are $7.50. So depending on what you want to do, it's either going to be basically $15 or $7.50. I think I mentioned this earlier, my oils, I have the two ounces, which I sell for $10.99 and the little half ounce bottles. I can break it down. I prefer not to. I sell them by the four pack usually. Um, and those again are for $10.99 for the same price as the one two ounce bottle. The butters, one ounce or two ounce is going to be the same price as the bomb. Even though there's a little more ingredients in it, uh, that's okay. So I'm going to keep everything kind of even keeled, so to speak. And I'm going to do the $7.50 for the, for the one ounce tin. And I'm going to do $15, $14.99, whatever, for the uh, two ounce tin of butters. I don't have one on right now, as you can see, but I actually do make my own t-shirts. So if anybody's interested in t-shirt, I wish I had one here. I'm looking in my closet and I don't. If you can check out my Instagram and my Facebook page, and you can see some posts of some of the shirts that I've done. It's basically a logo that just has Polywog's Beard Co. on the front in, in the writing of my, my logo. And then on the back, it's the full logo which I, again, I showed you before is, is this, it's, it would be this whole logo on the back in about an 11 inch, 10, 10 to 11 inch on the back. If that's something you're interested in, let me know because I, I do sell those as well. Um, I believe I have those listed on the Etsy page also. I'll have to double check. But again, I'm trying to make a website for all this stuff, guys. Um, it's taken me a long time because I do work a full-time job. I'm trying to do everything that I do in the evening. So if, if you do order something or if you, you hit me up on Instagram and do a DM asking me any questions, ask me any questions here, I will try to reply to them as fast as possible. I get up super early in the morning for work. Sometimes I'm on my phone and I'll answer questions then. I'll answer emails at that point. I'll stay up as late as I have to to get this done because I want this to grow. I want my business to become a business, a full-fledged, good-going business. I want to continue to do the YouTube thing, A, to help grow my um, my business, of course, but also I find it fun. It's like a little hobby thing. So if I have to do stuff at night and just in my office at home in front of the camera, that's what I'm going to do. Enough rambling. I'm going to be done for the night. So that's my product line, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments and ask me. DM me on Instagram. Check out my Instagram. Everything is is uh, I'll, is linked below, and it's Polywogs Beard Co. So check me out on Facebook, on Instagram. I am on Twitter. I don't post much on Twitter, and I'm trying to post more on Instagram. Thanks for for checking this out. If you saw anything you like or you have questions, again, like I said, leave me a comment, um, throw me a question, DM me, whatever. I'm I'm always happy to answer anything you any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you want, share this with anybody that you think might be interested in, in my products. And I'm going to try to get out two videos this week because I, I screwed up and I didn't get a chance to do one last week on Saturday. I've been posting them on Saturday. So I'm gonna try my hardest to get this one done, get it out to you for tomorrow. And then I'm gonna also try to get another one done by Saturday for you guys. So stay tuned. Hopefully I can get her done. You have a good night. I appreciate everything, and I won't use somebody else's slogan. I'll figure out something on my own, but keep bearding on, brothers, and anybody that's not bearded. Thanks for watching. So until next time, peace out.